Hello all, welcome to this uh, video lecture on Tidal Energy Module 4 of uh, Energy Engineering presented by myself Ranjit PK, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Global Academy of Technology. In this video lecture, we understand uh, the uh, concept of tidal energy, the tides and waves as uh, energy suppliers and uh, their mechanics. And uh, we understand the fundal, fundamental characteristics of the tidal power, how we harness the tidal power and what are its limitations. Tidal energy or the tidal power is a form of hydropower that converts energy of the tides uh, into useful forms, mainly electricity. Uh, this is a promising uh, form of uh, renewable energy that has a good potential for uh, future electricity generation and currently research is in progress. Uh, so in order to understand how do we ex uh, use uh, tidal energy, we need to understand what is a tide. So tide is a periodic rise and uh, fall of the water level which is carried out by the gravitational action of both sun and the moon. As the earth rotates, the position of the given area relative to the moon changes and hence the tides. So, uh, uh, a periodic succession of both high tides and low tides uh, exists in nature. So, this uh, tides have uh, uh, occur in a typical day in the form of two high tides and two low tides and uh, these last are roughly about 12 hours. 25 minutes each and uh, the rise and fall of a water level usually follows a sinusoidal curve and uh, the difference between the high tide and the low tide is known as the tidal range depicted here. Uh, usually near the full moon or the new moon the tidal range is very high hence uh, uh, we are usually advised not to venture out uh, near the sea uh, and uh, this also goes by the name as spring tides. And near the half moon, uh, uh, the tidal range is exceptionally small, which is called the neap tides. So, a video which gives you the uh, understanding of this. The oceans rise and fall in response to the gravitational forces from the moon and the sun. This is called the tides. The energy from this rise and fall can be converted into electricity. How does it work? There are two main forms of tidal energy. Tidal range is a dam that uses the difference in sea level between high and low tides. A turbine converts the potential energy into electricity, just like in a conventional hydropower plant. Tidal current is a device that captures the kinetic energy from the flow of the currents. To convert energy, tidal turbines can be mounted on structures fixed to the seabed or on floating platforms. Tidal power is a very attractive energy source because it is highly dependable. There are two low tides and two high tides every day, and we know exactly when. That is why we will continue to explore the potential of tidal energy. So that was in a nutshell of uh, the tidal energy basics. Uh, if we need to extract uh, this uh, tidal energy into power, uh, a typical uh, tidal power plant would include a power house uh, which consists of turbines, electric generators and other auxiliary equipments. Since these heads are very small, a large turbine size uh, uh, capacities would be needed. And it also consists of a dam or a barrage. It basically acts as a barrier between the sea and the basin. So, barrages are barriers with uh, which stand the lesser heads of water. And uh, the next component is a sluice way. It is used to fill uh, the basin or empty the basin. And when this filling occurs during a high tide and emptying occurs during a low tide. They are basically gate controlled devices. So generally the powerhouse at the sluice ways are aligned with the dam. Methods of utilization include a single basin arrangement and a double basin arrangement. Uh, and uh, within the single basin arrangement, it is the single ebb cycle or the single tide cycle. As the name suggests, there is a single basin which uh, uh, through which the power is extracted. And in a double basin, 
there is a two basins set used. Uh, as I said, the single basin arrangement, there is only one basin interacting with the sea, a dam separates the sea. The potential head is developed or provided by the rise and fall of the tide, uh, that is the range. So, in a single uh, ebb cycle, what happens is power generation takes place during the both ebb tide and the flow tide. So, you can see uh, it uses a number of uh, reversible turbines, each of them driving an electric generator. So, the turbine essentially operates uh, from both the directions. So, when there is high tide, the water is made to pass through the turbine and is collected here. And as this tide recedes, uh, whatever the water is collected is let back and uh, during which also the power is extracted. In uh, a, a single tide uh, cycle system, uh, the power is generated only during the flood side, uh, flood tide. Uh, the basin uh, essentially drains the water by allowing it to fall, flow into the sea through this slice gate. So, only when the tide moves, the turbine rotates, uh, the otherwise the plant uh, it does not operate. So, essentially this follows that this method requires the large size plant and operates with very shorter time and uh, considered to be very less efficient. In a double basin arrangement, it has two basins but uh, which are placed adjacent to each other and uh, this type of arrangement ensures that it provides continuous power supply. The water level is maintained above than the other basin. So, when compared to the one basin, uh, high basin, I'm sorry, when compared to the low basin, the water levels at the uh, high level basin is provided uh, is usually high. Uh, the powerhouse is located between uh, these two basins. The advantages of uh, using tidal energy include uh, it being an inexhaustible source of supply. Then it is independent of rain and its uncertainty and it is free from pollution and there is no requirement of valuable land as they can be constructed on seashores as well. However, it is not a widely used form of uh, energy due to its uh, uh, limitations. The limitations include variation in the output due to variation in the tide. So, it is not a consistent uh, source of uh, energy supply. It uh, studies have been conducted and it shows uh, that uh, there are chances of disruption of marine life and it causes ecological harm and uh, the turbines are required to be operated at variable head which is usually very difficult uh, for the turbine manufacturers to design uh, this and uh, the economic recovery. So, the economics uh, do not uh, work out uh, for generation of this tidal energy. So, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, hit the bell icon to get further updates and thanks for watching this video.